Hey everyone, I just thought I'd do a little talk on leveling up. People use that term and they throw that around quite a bit. So I thought I would expand on it and just give maybe a little bit more clarity as to what it feels like and what the experience of leveling up is. It's very much like a video game, really. When you keep going through these levels and you get more rewards and you get more um, tools and you get uh, all these you, you know, capabilities. So you start at basic level one and you go to the second level, third level, and you start to become a master after a while. And you get given even more gifts and things to be able to do whatever you're doing on your mission. So, um, yeah, so let me just see this this little snippet. I was going to the grocery store today. And oh my gosh, I found this really cute little, um, this little heart that says kindness is courage and with a little key. And I just thought, yes, yes, it has to do with leveling up too, because, because you become more and more courageous and um, you act out of kindness. So um, I'll give a, a, like a couple examples. And I'm not sure if I've told you guys the story or not, but it deems repeating if I haven't, or if I have, even if I have. Okay. Um, so I go, um, I get served by this waiter and he comes over and this is the second time I've had this waiter and he's, he was so sweet the first time, but the second time I was like, he's still that way. <laughs> like, you know, that wasn't an anomaly or something. That's amazing. Like he is so sweet. And, and he stands out because he'll come to the table and he'll be like, hi, how are you? Are you doing okay? And he'll look you in the eyes and you could tell the sincerity in, and he's he just, just such, he exudes such kindness and compassion. And I, I was just, struck and I didn't even I didn't even know I was going to do this but this is so funny because he kept saying is there anything I can get for you is there anything I can do for you is there anything you know what do you need anything and and he really meant it again it wasn't just him doing his job it was like he really really cared I could feel that and um I just thought I'd be funny I was like I do need something I do need something sir you know could you come over here please and I said are you an angel? I promise I won't tell anybody. <laughs> and he kind of laughed. And um, he sat down in front of me, extended his hands out, and he took my hands. And he said, what makes you think that? And I got teary. I started crying in front of him. I was like, I was like, well, you're so sweet. Like, you're so kind. <laughs> and, you know, that takes a lot of courage. That takes so much courage to sit in front of somebody and hold their hands and connect with them that way. He said, if you if you'll let me sit with you, um, I'll tell you, I'll tell you a bit about me and how I got to be the way that I am. And he said, every day when I wake up, I I ask, I ask God, please, you know, make me the best possible version of myself I can be today. And he actually goes out in the world attempting to do that wanting to do that. And, and it shows, <laughs> it really shows. So I spent, I spent my, my meal, which would have been alone um, with this wonderful person who told me so much about his life story and how he ended up being the way he is. And it was just absolutely such an inspiring, beautiful story. So, and it took, it took courage for me to say something nice to him like that. It takes courage. It does. It takes courage to be kind. Kindness is courage. It really is. Um, and it also makes me think of, and, and, you know, I would have robbed myself of that incredible experience if I wouldn't have reached out and he would have robbed himself of the incredible experience if he wouldn't have sat down and talked to me and held my hands like that. I mean, in this world with people paranoid about diseases and all kinds of things, so it was just amazing. It was so it's right now we are living from the heart. And notice also that this is a heart. You know, we got to start living from the heart in every moment and everything that we do. I was in the grocery store the other day and I noticed I was looking for a certain tea that I like. And 
I noticed that there's a, a gal who was kind of struggling to get what she wanted. It was at the bottom, at the very bottom uh, row. And she grabbed a couple and I could tell that it was all that she could reach. <laughs> so I just said, do you want me to grab you another one? And I didn't know whether she was going to be nice or if she'd be offended or if she, you know, I didn't know what kind of reaction I was going to get, but I meant it with all my heart, all the, all the kindness I had in me, you know, I was like, do you want me to grab another for you? And she just like goes like this. And she says, well, I wouldn't mind one or two. And I was like, I'm going to grab you as much as I can, you know? So I went down and I grabbed her, you know, there were only two left. So I, I gave them to her. She, Thank you so much. So, and it, it just extending your heart and being vulnerable with other people around you. It, it does. It takes courage. Um, you know, Noah Centineo one time said that he looked over at, at somebody and he, and he gave them this big smile and he was so hurt that, they didn't smile back, but you're going to get those too. You know, you're going to, you're going to have those moments where somebody doesn't connect with you also. And that's why it's exactly why it takes courage to be kind. So you have to be willing to have somebody flat out, you know, but here's the thing, here's the ticket too. Here's the crazy thing. Just like with setting boundaries, if people sense your fear, they'll react, they're more likely to react in a negative way. Like to poo-poo you setting boundaries with them because they know that you're just practicing, that you're just a little kid, you know, almost. It's like that. It's like they can sense that you're actually kind of scared underneath it and that you really don't want to be doing it. Um, but you're trying, you know, <laughs> you're stretching that muscle, um, trying to level up, you know, basically is what that is. And they can feel it. People who like to take advantage and manipulate people, they will, they'll, they'll do that. But it's also God's way of like training us, go past your comfort level, be willing to do it and be willing to obey, you know, and just listen to your heart and lean into it. And then you get more and more better reactions, the more confident you feel that somebody's going to be um, good to you, you know, that they're going to re that re they're going to reciprocate somehow in some way from the heart. So now I, I almost always I think I pretty much always get a really great response because I'm so confident in my love. You know, I say it and I mean it and I, and I don't do it if I don't really feel it. You know what I mean? So I know the person's going to respond well because that's where I'm not afraid to do it. I'm just like, Hey, can I help? You know? And I, and, and so just keep that in mind too. There's all these like subtleties. So if you've been kind of put down like that, try again, but mean it and be real confident and sure that you're going to get a good response. Um, you know, or like, you're, you're dating somebody and you've got Oracle cards and in a part of you is like, well, is he going to judge me for having Oracle cards around? Oh, is he going to think I'm weird or something like that? If you come across like that and you try to explain it to him, like, oh, well, you know, sometimes I'm, I look at Oracle cards. It's just kind of, you know, just something that I do sometimes when, I, you know, if I'm feeling uncertain or whatever, and he's just going to be like, dude, like <laughs> what? why don't you just ask a good friend or why don't you just like, and he's going to feel like giving you advice and, and going to feel sorry for you. But if you're just like, dude, you don't have Oracle cards at home. What? What? <laughs> Everybody's got Oracle cards. You got to have Oracle cards. Who lives without Oracle cards? Then they're like, Oh, Hey, why don't I have any Oracle cards? You know? <laughs> so sometimes you got to set the trend. Um, and, and, but it's always, you know, about being willing to put your heart out there and put your heart out there and put your heart out there. So let me just see the notes that I made to myself going to the grocery store today. It says leveling up is when it becomes easier to do the right thing. So at first it's very uncomfortable, but the more willing you are to flow with spirit, the more things seem to really line up for you and you start feeling really proud of yourself. So that's kind of the mark of leveling up is, and it'll also surprise you. You'll be like, oh my gosh, a year ago, I never would have done that. And, or if spirit seems to really be like, sh be showing you something that's very uncomfortable for you to talk about, you would want to hide it, or you'd maybe read books in, in secret and be like, oh, I want to learn about this thing, but I don't want to tell anybody that I'm looking into it. 
like drinking urine, you know, fasting, those subjects that are like totally taboo. Nobody likes talking about them. You know, it's like, Ooh, I want to, but I want a part of me really wants to venture out and see what that is and see if it's really as beneficial as everybody says, or see if it can create a miracle in my life or look, you know, it, you just want, you feel that pull and the interest and the, you know, your the desire. Um, so, you know, at first you're very uncomfortable and you try to hide it and all that, but then you start getting more and more comfortable. And like one of the, one of my favorite things to say when I feel like God's trying to pull me into something that I'm uncomfortable with is, you know what? I don't like the thought of it, but I'm willing. If you, if you need me and you need me to do that thing, I'm willing. And I know that you always look out for me and you always do what's very best for me, even better than I, than I could ever possibly imagine. And I know you love me and you're leading me into greener pastures. You're leading me into something that I will be totally fulfilled with. And you know my heart better than anybody. You know my insecurities. You know my, you know everything. So if you're pulling my heart to do this thing and I'm desiring it and I see all these signs and synchronicities and a book falls into my lap or, you know, that kind of stuff that I'm like, I'm willing, God, I'm willing. It makes me incredibly uncomfortable. I, you know, I know I'll get picked on. I know people will judge it. I know they're going to think this, that, and the other thing. Maybe not everybody, but I know, you know, it'll cause judgment and criticism and and who, who, who else knows? So, but whenever I've met those moments, it's always like, you never know actually how well received you'll be or not. And you're just surmising if you try to talk yourself out of your, if you're constantly taught, you know, just being, well, I can't, you're like, you're telling your friend, I really want to do this thing, but I can't do it because it's too uncomfortable. If you could just eliminate that talking to your friend part and just look at it and drop all the stories around it and just say, okay, I'm willing. I don't like it right now, but I'm willing and I feel the pull. So let's go. Show me what I need to do. Guide me. Give me more synchronicity so I feel really confident in what I'm doing. Um, give me all kinds of incredible miracles so that I'm sure that that's what I'm being asked to do. You know, get get confident and sure first. <laughs> you know, I was I was darn sure that God had made me a prophet when I announced it to you guys. I did not want to come on and say that. I did not want to say that. Trust me. So... I but I was willing. Do you want me to talk about this? Do you want me to talk about it now? And I had gotten tons of confirmation and synchronicities and magical and mir- miraculous things were happening for days. And he's like, "Yes, this is the time. You need to tell them." Okay. So, um let me see what else here. Um yeah, things start just start lining up for you like magically. It just starts working. Everything starts working out. And you start feeling really proud of yourself. If you feel you've been pushed into something by the universe, try practicing just being willing and don't talk about it or think about it. All the what ifs and all the things that, you know, that make you uncomfortable about it. Otherwise, you're just working yourself up to to have that resistance. So leveling up requires a lack of resistance. It really does require some surrender and being just willing to cooperate. Um, So just be willing to, to do it no matter how uncomfortable it is. Then watch the miracles unfold. How many of you guys have seen that yourselves? Uh, Write in the comments some some cool stories if you've got them. Um, It's actually much like a video game. And then I talk about that. um, Doing things you never thought possible as well. And I just, you you know when you're leveling up too. When you you feel inspired, you get attacked by Satan. (laughs) but you don't care anymore or it starts to get like old hat or it starts to feel like, um, you know, whatever, you know, you just start letting things roll off your back and you look back at yourself, you know, a year or years ago and you're just like, oh my gosh, that would have really gotten to me before, or I would have blown my lid. I would have been so angry at that situation before. And this time I kept my composure and I had this little voice inside of me saying, be compassionate, though. It may not be what you think. Just reach for com- the compassionate thing, which is to pull back, take a deep breath, you know, give the benefit of the doubt and calm yourself down. You know, that that type of thing. 
So um, I hope that helps. And I hope that that either explains what leveling is up to you, leveling up is to you, or maybe you've been leveling up and didn't even know it, but you, but you usually do know it because it feels pretty darn good. And you're like, you know what? I'm really proud of myself. So take some time today too, to think about some things you're really proud of. Think about how you used to be compared to how you are today, the things you're willing to say, the things you're willing to do, where you're willing to go. Look at all of that, that you, that you weren't willing to do a while ago and make, maybe make a list or put your hand on your heart and say, thank you for loving me enough to be willing to, you know, let God lead you to your heart's desire. Thank you so much. Cause he can give us so much more than we can possibly imagine in you might have an idea of what you want in the future. And it's not even close to what, what, what God wants to give you. So I'm going to grab some, or I'm going to pull some um, God speaks cards. I got to get these professionally made. I've just been squeaking in a, a few little and, you know, more index cards here and there. So I, I wait until I stop adding some and then I go, okay, they're ready. Okay. So God, what do you want to say? To everybody today who are either you know learning about leveling up wanting to level up they are leveling up i think a lot of people are leveling leveling up right now because of what's going on in our world and they feel the kind pull to be courageous to do something kind for other people and and even for themselves <laughs> i've loved you at your darkest so love other people in their darkest as well so, you know, everybody, everybody, everybody's lovable and everybody can be cut some slack, you know, understand that people are under a lot of, a lot of pressure and even despair in these times. You can trust me. Rebuke Satan. You've already won. So when you, when you do start, you know, when God plants a seed in your heart and says, go, 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 go with it. It's going to be incredible. Trust me. Um, and you start going with it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And all of a sudden, bam, like, like all, the, like everything falls apart. Or you have a thought that's like, how could I be thinking I could do that? What am I? I'm not qualified. What am I thinking? I'm not going to announce that to everybody. Oh my God. Who do I think I am? Or a friend comes along and Satan jumps in your friend and he's oh, watch this, you know, and your friend's just like, ha, 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 you're going to be the, you know, the laughing stock and blah, blah, blah. So that's when you rebuke Satan. Back off Satan, because you have the authority over Satan. Absolutely 100%. So um, own it, claim it, know it. Um, all right. And I just wrote a scripture down that that actually says that. And I don't remember which one it is. So if anybody knows which scripture that is, let me know that you that we have the authority over Satan. OK, well, there are, I think there are a lot of them. <laughs> Set your mind on things above, not earthly things. Yeah, I mean, that uh, that's also a requirement of leveling up. The The things that matter need to matter most, the things of the heart. In my presence, there is fullness of joy. And it also requires being present. You know, if I wasn't paying attention to that lady that was reaching down for the product, if I was just in my own world and only cared about me and I was grabbing some tea for myself and planning to get out of there, you know, I don't like crowds. There were plenty of people in the aisle. I did want to get out of there. I wanted to grab my tea and go, but I was paying attention because I was present. You know, so it also requires that. Be still and know I am God. My plan for you will be worth the wait. Because it's going to be tremendous. I love you far beyond understanding. And remember who you are. So you are God's child. Um, okay, so... Hope that gives you some confidence today. Let me look at some. Um, let me look at some spirit cards too. Spirit is also God. <laughs> They're just a different different deck. These are your spirit guides, angels, guardians, everybody else who's also helping you. All a part of God. <laughs> All one with God, just as we are. Okay, but they're in this in the subtle realm. 
Which perspective or option feels good or gives you relief? Choose that one. That's also a part of that kindness is courage. Sometimes, you know, you have to do the courageous thing to feel better about it, to give you give you some relief. We are talking you through what you hear, taste, touch, feel, smell, sounds, colors, and numbers. So pay close attention. Stay in the moment. Pay attention. No harm can come to you. It's like a simulation is what I get. You No harm will come to you. It's just a simulation. You can heal yourself. Your thoughts and words are stronger than you realize and your body is listening. So try it. So also be careful what you say to people and what you say out loud. That's why I give you these affirmations to say, which we're going to do again in just a minute here too, just to, just to keep the power going. <clears throat> no one else can make you do anything. You either buy into their story or not. If their story makes you feel bad, just choose a different story and take your power back. So when Kate, Satan comes in to take away that seed that God planted, don't believe it. <laughs> don't believe it. Say, I believe in myself. I can do anything. If God's telling me to do it, I'm obviously qualified, you know, because all I care about is his opinion. I don't care about anybody else, you know. Learning how to self-soothe is a mandatory step to liberation and loving others in a healthy way. Rely only on you for the comfort that you seek and you'll be set free. Absolutely. We're doing all we can to comfort and encourage you through this time. You're very important to us. We love you. You are not alone. And when you, one of the best gifts, somebody said this to me recently too, one of the best gifts, gifts you can possibly be given is when you give to someone else. So, and he even said, this is another guy. He said, I always strive in any interaction to see what I can give the other person. And then he asked me, he goes, what can I give you? What do you need? What do you need right now in your life? And it was so beautiful. You know, how often are you ever asked that by somebody? And I was very, really, really touched by that. And I said, thank you so much for asking that. That's, that's really sweet. So um, have these types of exchanges. Do something nice for a stranger. Give a stranger a hug. You look like you need a hug. You look like, you know, could you use this or that or the other thing? Um, you know, and like I said, sometimes I even have items in my car and I'm like, hey, could you use such and such? And they'll be like, mm, uh, actually, yeah. <laughs> So pray as if you've already received what you're asking for and it will be yours. And we're about to do that. Your objective right now is to continue your healing work as everything else is being worked out behind the scenes. Just focus on you and your healing. The more that you heal and the more you, the more you drop your ego, the more willing you're going to be to cooperate with the universe trying to bring wonderful things for you. Okay, so we're just going to declare some stuff. And this I put I put I think most of them in Instagram if you guys want to just use the screenshot for yourself as well. Okay, in terms of the new world order. The new world order is disintegrating before our eyes and the truth is coming out for all to see. Babylon can no longer suppress us. We're being given back all they've stolen and then some as we enter our time of plenty. It is time to celebrate. So I'm going to read it again. The new world order is disintegrating before our eyes and the truth is coming out for all to see. Babylon can no longer suppress us. We're being given back all they've stolen and then some as we enter into a time of plenty. It is time to celebrate. Okay, well, they just said three times. Okay, so let's do it again. The new world order is disintegrating before our eyes and the truth is coming out for all to see. Babylon can no longer suppress us. We're being given back all they've stolen and then some as we enter our time of plenty. It is time to celebrate. Okay, so this is also about the world. I declare in Yeshua's name, God's enemies are defeated and powerless. God's enemies now lose everything they've stolen from us. I take back what's already mine. Justice, pre justice prevails and judgment is served now. The tables are turning as they have fallen. God has the victory. I declare in Yeshua's name, God's enemies are defeated and powerless. God's enemies now lose everything they've stolen from us. And I take back what's already mine. Justice prevails and judgment is served now. The tables are turning as they have fallen. God has the victory. 
I declare in Yeshua's name, God's enemies are defeated and powerless. God's enemies now lose everything they've stolen from us. And I take back what's already mine. Justice prevails and judgment is served now. The tables are turning turning as they have fallen. God has the victory. Okay, now this is about your authority. Sovereignty. I have the power and the upper hand in this and all situations as I sit at the throne of my Father God the Highest. I command no fear to tread here, no harm to come, and no evil to take hold. Only perfect health, harmony, and happiness are allowed in my life with God my Avenger. God is always victorious at the perfect time, in the perfect way, and on his chosen day. I have the power and the upper hand in this and all situations as I sit at the throne of my Father, God the Highest. I command no fear tread here, no harm to come, and no evil to take hold. Only perfect health, harmony, and happiness are allowed in my life with God, my Avenger. God is always victorious at the perfect time in the perfect way and on his chosen day. I have the power and the upper hand in this in all situations as I sit at the throne of my Father God the Highest. I command no fear to tread here, no harm to come, and no evil to take hold. Only perfect health, harmony, and happiness are allowed in my life with God my Avenger. God is always victorious at the perfect time in the perfect way and on his chosen day. So you have to wait for his perfect timing. All right, law. I will no longer be held to contracts or covenants I have not consciously consented to or any energy that tries to come and consciously or unconsciously bind or contract me to something I haven't willingly agreed to having been given all the details first. Any such unconscious contracts are invalid, void, and cannot stand. I will no longer be held to contracts or covenants I have not consciously consented to or any energy that tries to come and consciously or unconsciously bind or contract me to something I haven't willingly agreed to having been given all the details first. Any such unconscious contracts are invalid, void, and cannot stand. I will no longer be held to contracts or covenants I have not consciously consented to or any other energy that tries to come and consciously or unconsciously bind or contract me to something I haven't willingly agreed to having been uh, given, having been given all the details first. Any such unconscious contracts are invalid, void, and cannot stand. All right, one more. This one's for healing. I refuse to have any disease or illness in my body. I choose life. I choose health. I choose God, source, energy coursing through my veins. I do not consent to this or any illness any longer. In the name of God, my Father, I do not accept any pain. You must go in Yeshua's name. God, I believe you uh, more than these symptoms, and you say I am healed according to my faith, and so it is. I am healed. I command a healing miracle. I refuse to have any disease or illness in my body. I choose life. I choose health. I choose God source energy coursing through my veins. I do not consent to this or any illness any longer. In the name of God, my father, I do not accept any pain. You must go now in Yeshua's name. God, I believe you more than these symptoms. And you say I am healed according to my faith. And so it is. I am healed. I command a healing miracle. I'm getting chills. I refuse to have any disease or illness in my body. I choose life. I choose health. I choose God source energy coursing through my veins. I do not consent to this or any illness any longer. In the name of God, my father, I do not accept any pain. You must go in Yeshua's name. God, I believe you more than these symptoms. And you say I am healed according to my faith. And so it is. I am healed. I command a healing miracle. All right. So let me just do a light language blessing for you guys encompassing all that we've talked about today, helping you level up and um, helping all of these affirmations to be amplified. I'm being attacked for saying this. Apema shejena ala sanse la popoma ha ala ensa se shinke ela ha ke pomoma an.
tahe sansela ashena tai ka sasena pumama hama an hala sanseshi la hele pipima ana ketain ta tai sansi pina hashishi na ai la ken so i took the authority and i chased satan out of that i'm like i am saying this i am sharing this video okay um and just i felt when i was doing the blessing that mary magdalene has something to say all right what do you want to tell everybody today mary guardian angel <clears throat> okay okay um i also felt like doing a prayer for uh the canadians right now those who are faced with those fires and all that smoke that's now drifting all over the U.S. Okay. To the rational mind, it seems that nothing, um, that can nothing exist without having a beginning or an end. In the physical world, things are born and then they die. Things start, then come to an end. On the surface, this is what we see and often believe. However, when we delve deep into the spiritual heart of matter, a different picture emerges. Energetically, nothing ever dies. Everything in life simply transforms everything and everyone is forever held within love's eternal embrace spiritually everything and everyone you love are always present nothing is ever truly lost or missing so smile and don't be sad for everyone you love is forever present in your heart just as you are forever present within theirs time and space are but an illusion whether spiritually or psychically we all exist now life is but one eternal moment. So being that the angel of death is on the planet right now, this could pertain to somebody who might be dying in your life, possibly. Um, there is a really good video called, and I think I have it in my videos in on my website, but Muji's video, uh, The Death of Death. Just put that title in YouTube. Just pay M-O-O-J-I, put M-O-O-J-I, and then Death of Death, and it'll come up. Um, and it'll definitely help you, um, deal with any kind of death that you might be facing. Okay. All right. So let me do the blessing for Canada and anyone else who's going to be affected by the smoke drifting all around. Um, yeah. Hala Sansei, also to help your heart through any loss that you might experience. During this time, I don't know when the angel of death is going to do its thing, but pretty sure a lot of us, maybe all of us are going to, are going to know. It'll be pretty evident. Ah, oh, there was a lot of water energy. And I got the word C, S-E-A. So I guess if you're able to go to the sea to heal your heart, that that would be a good thing for you to do. Remember to be thankful um, more than you think about the things that are going wrong in your life. You have a Have a grateful heart every minute of every day. And if you're not being grateful, then be present. So be thoughtless. They just said be thoughtless meaning not meaning selfish and clumsy, meaning not having thoughts, <laughs> not having thoughts. Um, Cause that's when you find the peace, no matter if hurricanes or blizzards or fires or whatever is going on around you, that's where your best protection is. Always remember that if you are present in the moment, I promise you, you will not be harmed. I can say that from experience. Okay, guys, if you're totally present in the moment, and you're holding hands with God, he is not going to turn his back on you. You will be protected in that moment, but you got to be present. You've got to be thoughtless when it happens. Okay. All right. You have yourselves a beautiful day, sending you a big giant hug, and I will talk to you later.